everyone, it's Bretta Riches here from runforfit.com and today I'm going to be talking to you about the three factors that can affect your foot strike when you run. So I strongly feel that foot strike is the most important element in running because it essentially determines the amount of impact produced and your foot strike also determines the amount of elastic energy that is stored within the arch of the foot as well as the Achilles tendon. So it's important to keep in mind that there's essentially two types of foot strike. There's the heel strike landing, which scientifically has been proven to produce more impact than a four foot strike landing, which is the second common foot strike. So there are three factors that influence a runner's foot ground interactions and these three factors are speed, impact and shoes. So for the first factor, which is speed, at faster running speeds, you are more likely to avoid heel strike and land on the forefoot. And this is because running faster really doesn't give the, the foot enough time to become ankle dorsiflex. And what ankle dorsiflexion means is that the forefoot lifts up upon touchdown, which allows for a heel strike landing. But when you run faster, the foot orients itself more parallel simply because at faster running velocities there isn't enough time to allow a full dorsiflex ankle and that's why a lot of researchers have found that by running faster the foot reacts in a way where it sets up in a better position to land in a non-heel strike fashion and also this is one of the reasons why a lot of sprinters and elite distance runners use a forefoot strike landing. So the second factor that influences foot strike is impact. And if you watch a lot of barefoot runners in action, you will notice that the majority of these runners land on their forefoot and not on their heel. And there is a barefoot advocate who's an MD at uh, McGill University in Montreal by the name of Dr. Stephen Robbins. And he demonstrated that Barefoot runners easily avoid impact by using uh, what is called impact moderating behavior. And this depends largely on how the brain perceives impact, which is dependent upon the activation of the nerves in the feet, which these nerves always seem to be hyper aware when you run barefoot. So this means that the body naturally knows how to adjust foot strike when you run barefoot based on the perception of impact from the amount of sensory information that is entering the bottom of the feet. So in other words, humans are well beyond capable of developing a safe foot strike without shoes. So the last factor that influences foot strike is shoes. And in my opinion, running shoes is the most important determinant of foot strike. And in particularly, uh, cushion heeled running shoes causes a runner to heel strike because of the way the foot is configured in these type of shoes. The heel makes it much easier to clip the ground because of the elevation of the, the stacked heel height. And not only that, um, heel strike runners who transition from their typical heeled conventional running shoes, when these runners transition to minimalist footwear, not always do these runners adopt a four foot strike landing, but actually they maintain a heel strike landing. And this suggests that blocking sensory information at the foot, even with the thinnest piece of rubber, is enough to promote a heel strike landing. So this is one of the reasons why um, minimal shoes don't exactly facilitate a, a four foot strike landing style if you don't know what you're doing. So. Let's summarize the three factors that influence uh, your foot strike or that can maximize or impair your forefoot strike landing. So number one is runners always seem to land better on their forefoot because their ankle is in a better position when they run faster. So speed is like running faster is a very, very important uh, way to um, refine and maximize your forefoot strike. The second is impact. and so when you wear cushion heeled running shoes, you really can't feel the impact when you heel strike. And this is why it's very comfortable to heel strike due to the amount of padding under the heel. And when you run barefoot, your feet are hyper aware. And as Michael Sandler, another barefoot running advocate, as he says that when you run barefoot, you run a barefoot. So you're very aware of the impact intensity that is acting on the foot and this prompts you to develop a four foot strike landing to avoid impact and to keep 
you know, forces low. So thirdly, and which is the most important determinant of your foot strike is running shoes. So you need to make the conscious effort to land on your forefoot when you wear running shoes because remember the thin, um, like the rubber outsole of the running shoes blocks that sensory input that's important for reading the ground. So when you can't read the ground because of your shoe cushioning or rubber outsole, it's gonna be a little bit harder for the central nervous system and the natural withdrawal reflexes in the lower leg to detect whether or not you're accurately landing on your forefoot. So this is why when you're a new forefoot runner, it's best to try running barefoot. And I'm not saying you need to convert 100% to barefoot running, but I am suggesting that just doing a little bit of barefoot running each day and making the conscious effort of landing on your forefoot will really be a game changer in your complete biomechanics. So I hope this helps and let's all be happier and healthier and try running barefoot. For more information on barefoot running, as well as forefoot strike versus heel strike running, please head on over to my blog, runforefoot.com. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and have fun out there on the roads. Bye.